off into String Project Los Angeles and I was one of the first members. I had kind of decided before I started String Project that I was going to quit playing cello. I really didn't know anything about playing jazz or alternative styles. Before I started going to String Project I was horrified of concerts or uh, doing anything like in front of a group of people. Once I took that class it changed my life because I had never improvised before and I fell in love with jazz and improvisation. Being there two years really helped me and gave me confidence in my playing. I had so much fun and made a lot of new friends and it was really awesome. It's been an incredible experience. I've brought together my classical and my alternative styles into one instrument, which is so gratifying. I opened myself up to a lot of different styles that I didn't even know I would enjoy. For anyone interested in taking their playing to a new level, even if you really are a mainly a classical player, just to expand your horizons and get that experience under your fingers, improvising is really, really valuable. Someone asked me to play and I'm like, yeah, sure. It's become fun now and I never thought that that would be a possibility. Happy. We founded String Project Los Angeles in 2007 to help young string players in Southern California find their own musical voices through creative string playing. My classical cello teachers would throw me out of the studio if they knew that along with the classical music that I was listening to and enjoying, I was also listening to Jimi Hendrix and Miles Davis and John Coltrane. <laughs> how to play in a group together um, in basically like a, a jazz band setting or rock band setting, but they're all string players. The kids oftentimes don't feel like they're ready. I know that as a professional a lot of times we don't feel like we're ready to do a performance. And that's an important lesson for them to learn. We want to teach the kids that performing is a process that evolves. And to perform doesn't mean to play perfectly, but to keep learning and growing and to take risks every single time you get up on stage. <laughs> I met Rob and Jacob and saw the work they were doing, I was immediately intrigued and thrilled um, because I think it's really, really important work what these guys are doing. There's no program like it anywhere else in the world. It's a very unique opportunity. If you live in the Los Angeles area, you can't imagine how lucky you are. My brother played cello and my sister played piano. We were a trio. We had uh, orchestral training and chamber music and solo repertoire and all this great stuff. But I felt like we were missing out on some of the more creative aspects of music, namely composing and arranging. One day we asked my mom, you know, can we go play someplace and put our case out? So she took us to a mall, put our cases out, we made a few dollars, and it was really fun. So I kind of got the, the bug for it then. I only had classical training, just straight classical training. I wasn't ready. I only could do one thing well, and that was it. So I started going into different styles. I started playing tango, I started playing salsa, and I started taking jazz lessons. And it opened things up for me, as well as made me a better violinist. Our school is here to reflect the professional environment that is in the city of Los Angeles. And without a degree in popular music, I would say that we're not completely fulfilling our role because obviously the um, professional environment that is Los Angeles is inc so incredibly diverse that it has classical jazz entertainment industry studies but it's hugely geared around um, popular music. 
programs. Our addition of strings in the program is entirely student driven. Young students always want to find something that relates to them. So it's really dry when you tell them that they need to practice their scales or they need to practice the basics. Uh, it's like vegetables. We know it's going to be good for them, doesn't taste great. But string music, it's really hard to find other things that they can play. And so it's been great to be able to have them be able to improvise and have them be able to play different styles of music and um, really make them a more well-rounded musician than just one genre. Any way that you can uh, provide students with uh, yet another outlet to motivate them to practice, to get them inspired, is always a great thing. I think that creative string playing not only provides you know, the opportunity for a different genre of music, but it really uh, challenges in a, in a very productive way for students to listen uh, in a way that they might not have before. have this opportunity to learn different styles of music, um, blues, rock, jazz, reggae, pop, all, all of the above, um, if they weren't coming to our school. I would take, my, take the bus from downtown LA and then take the Sunset bus and then transfer to the Santa Monica bus all the way to West Hollywood just to take his class because I loved it so much. It was just a class that I couldn't believe was in existence. SPLA is unique um, in my experience uh, in the way that the classes are taught. There's a much more holistic way uh, that Jacob and Robbie go about teaching charts. Uh, they really want you to get inside of them, understand how the arrangements were done. One of the challenges that we faced right off the bat was finding materials to teach that fit our curriculum. Jacob, Andrea, and myself are all experienced arrangers, so we kind of took it upon ourselves to create arrangements for the kids to perform. Emphasizing the creative string playing thing, there weren't a lot of instructional materials that we felt really fit our students' needs. Everything from the charts and the music the kids perform to the scale sheets has been thought out and designed by string project faculty. Jacob and Andrea have created an amazing body of work that can enable people of all ages to explore improvisation on string instruments. There's a lot of us that perform and do our thing, but we don't really take the time or have the skills to impart any of that knowledge onto other people. I personally send my students to um, String Project LA. I was sold about the idea even before I met them, so when I actually met them and they were able to demonstrate to the students, then um, that sealed the deal. Cool. Try, I want to try one different thing. Zoe and Georgia, can we try these triplets at the Frog? String Project has just been really amazing. Every time I come here, I learn something new. They're sharing real-world experiences with these kids. They're putting the kids into situations that it's the real thing. 
feels safe and you can experiment and be creative. I absolutely would and do recommend the Street Project. I could jump up to the ceiling and go this much better than anything else out there that I've seen. Really enjoyed my experience with it, SPLA in general, with the ASGs, uh, with studying privately from Jacob. Um, in both classical and uh, non-classical cello, and I'd highly recommend the school to anyone interested. I would definitely recommend String Project Los Angeles to anybody who is willing and dedicated to music.